What's going on everyone, I Loot Games here and I want to go over the skins that have been leaked for this upcoming event along with some changes that we know are coming. So the first thing I want to share because I got this question a lot, if you have the skins from season 1 that are going to be recolored, which is the Wraith and I believe the Trophy Hunter 301 skin, you will not be able to craft these with legend tokens. Now this is according to a dev's tweet, however as always things are subject to change. I tweeted it out and one dev did reply just challenging me on where I got my info but was shortly informed that it was actually from another respawn dev without saying it was not accurate so I think we can trust this information. This could be seen as a bummer, but to be honest, if you have one of the skins from Season 1 Battle Pass, I would not spend the money to get these recolored versions. It just does not seem like it's worth $18, but that's just me. Next thing I want to share with you is that a dev also confirmed on Twitter that they will be improving the loot on Kings Canyon. This is an issue with ranked right now and this will be at least improved on in Tuesday's patch, which is very exciting for you guys that grind ranked. Personally, I hit number one predator in the world within like a couple of days of the new season and was just bored and so I just don't play ranked anymore. I'm just kidding, I, I really suck actually. Okay, let's jump into which skins are in the files already and perhaps some things that may be coming that they didn't share with us in the event announcement. But before I tell you guys about that, I just want to remind everyone to follow me on Twitter if you have Twitter because that is the place to keep up to date with me on things right when I find them. Tuesday when this patch drops, I will be sharing on Twitter first all the things I find in the patch. So follow me on Twitter at twitter.com slash games. The other thing I want to share is that the paid memberships on YouTube is now open. If you want to join and support the channel, you can do so by hitting the join button next to subscribe. There are different tiers that all come with better and better benefits. However, they all include exclusive content for me. Lastly, I am now sponsored by Gamersups. So if you're looking for a great tasting, zero calorie, keto friendly pre-gaming drink that has no tropics and antioxidants we're talking coq10 one of my favorite antioxidants gamer subs is for you they have a huge sale going on right now where you can get two months worth of servings for only 24.99 and then also use my code at checkout for an additional 10 percent off just head over to gamersubs.gg to grab yours today link is down in the description okay now on to the leaks all right, the first skin that we have is actually the only skin we have for a character, and this one is for Watson. And as you can see, it's very detailed with a lot of Viking hieroglyphs or alphabet all over it, including this artwork on her jacket, which is very, very cool all the way through. What's interesting, though, about this one is her eyes. I don't know what is up with her eyes. And looking at the preview on the website, it also kind of shows this same thing. Now, I f at first thought this was an error in the files, but who knows? I guess we'll find out once it comes out. You can see she has like dirt on her face and everything, but I just don't understand the eyes because normally she has like really blue, really nice eyes that just pop and they completely got rid of it for some reason, this one, so. I don't know what the, the issue is with that, but one thing I like is that you see her little lightning bolts on the bottom of her shoes. That's pretty cool. And I know what you guys are looking at right now. You're not looking at the shoes. You guys, ugh, you guys are so sick. Uh, but yeah, this is a very cool skin. And I think it's a $5 skin too, if I remember correctly. Oh, and real quick, I did have some other things I need to remind you about. And sorry about the mic. Um, whenever I'm recording with the screen capture to show you the models, I'm using the screen capture software to record my mic, and it's just horrible. It sounds so bad. I apologize about that. Um, but the things I want to remind you about is that this new episode of the Squadcast is now live, and we are on Spotify, and it's on YouTube. So I'm going to link both down in the description. Please go check that out. Give it some love. I actually had some personal things at the very end of the episode that I talked to you guys about, and I would love to get your opinion, so please go check that out. Also, make sure you're subscribed and like this video and leave a comment down below because tomorrow I will be picking one comment to win 1,000 Apex coins. I do it every Sunday on stream, twitch.com slash games. So go follow me there, sub if you can, and make sure you leave your comment down below because I want you guys to have as many chances as possible to win. All right, let's get back to leaks. Then we have the Wraith recolor which is going to be that $18 skin. Uh, I highly recommend not buying this. However, it is cool to see the little blue marks right here. I'm, I'm a fan of it. I like the, the coloring scheme, but is it worth $18? No. 
She also no longer has blonde hair, so we see the difference there. Uh, let me go ahead and spin around on her. You can see she has like a metal spine guard. This is like bone. I didn't really actually render these parts, so it could be it could be incorrect there. And once again, always my normal warning: be careful because I could be wrong about th that. What's well, not on purpose? Relax. Let me come over here. And her eyes are a little messed up too. So ignore that part. $18? Was it worth it, guys? All right, guys. And this is actually the new Prowler skin. Now, what we see here... And remember, guys, I'm always liable to make mistakes. So I could have some stuff wrong. But what's interesting about this is since it is an epic skin, we're going to have some animations. So this part that you, you see here fading in and out, that actually is probably what's going to be animated. So I just want you to know that. I don't know how yet to animate that stuff. I'm very new to Blender and, and using shaders and all that stuff. So um, don't judge me there. But this is a very neat skin and... Actually, we have some of this has been translated by our very own Optimus Rhyme. And I will go ahead and show you what he's been able to translate off of this gun. Then we have the Eva 8 skin, which as you can see has a lot of gold accents on it. And you can see that there's what looks like a bear. And you can see Bloodhound's axe right there. And, um... So it's a very nice skin, it's very subtle, but it's a beautiful skin and it has Viking wording in here, which we have some of it translated and I'll show you that after I show you the full skin. So since this one is also an epic, it does have, I believe, another animation, but this animation looks really funky when I enable it my way. So I'm going to just show you what appears to be uh snowflakes just rolling over it i believe but i'll enable it like full so you can see really how vivid it could be uh I, like i said i'm not very good with the animation part so i'm still working on that i'll have it figured out probably by the next time i do some videos on leaked skins so i won't be so unsure about things i show you but I could have made a mistake with this. Please just remember that, guys. When these skins come out, I, I hate seeing a bunch of messages saying, you got this wrong, you got this wrong. Yeah, I get a lot wrong. I'm just interpreting what I can. I'm I'm not um, an all-knowing expert in every field. I'm trying to put together all my knowledge for you guys in different ways to show you everything that's possible. So, Respawn only told us about one charm, and this is it. However, I was able to find multiple charms that are in the game files that I believe are related to this event. So, this is the one charm that they showed. This is the free charm that you're able to earn by going through their little uh, experience points thing for this e event. But, after I show you a quick look at this one in detail, because this is a very nice looking charm. It's very cool. Someone can translate this for me, see if it says anything important. Let me know down in the comments if you translate it and you find anything important. And then let me show you guys the other charm. So the way that I think this is going to work is that this charm is obviously going to be free. But I believe the other charms are going to be ones that you can find in game. Now, think of this sort of like with Forge, how we were able to go to his death box and pull out a charm. So you were able to get a charm from in game, which is a really cool experience to be honest, to be able to find items in game. That's really awesome. Now in the notes that respawn left for us, they said to make sure you have a, bl a certain hunter with you, obviously hinting at bloodhound, which is why I was about to say bloodhound because they will be able to perhaps reveal some things. And I think maybe they're going to reveal where these charms are laying at, in the game or when you they either reveal like a new way to fight or something like that but it's going to lead to these other charms that i'm going to show you right now so here's one of the ones i think you may be able to find in game perhaps when you kill a prowler or maybe who knows there's going to be a goliath you never know um maybe you get this horn charm off of one of their dead bodies or something. I have no idea, but this is in the files named Horn, or I think maybe even Viking Horn. And um, 
I think this could definitely be related to the event that we're about to have. Then we have this Viking ship, which is a very nice charm. It's very detailed, but it's, I mean, it's not going to stand out on your gun or anything. Nothing amazing. Uh, as a Bloodhound main, you might appreciate it a little bit more. Um, the only thing that's just strange about this is this is clearly a Viking ship, and it's clearly got to be related to this Bloodhound event, right? Unless this is going to be Season 5 material, why wouldn't it be coming out in this event? And yet, and they said it's not listed. It's You know, they're not listing it. So I'm not sure what this is all about, what they're pulling. They might be real sneaky and, and pull something else besides just in-game stuff. Or maybe they'll do a login reward. I am not sure. But time will tell and we will know shortly because the event is Tuesday. And last but not least, we have the shield charm. And this would be the last one that I think is related to this event. So let me just show you the backside real quick. Nothing too crazy about it, but it is it is pretty cool looking, the design on it. I don't mind it at all. I wouldn't mind grabbing that. But maybe this will be another one of the free ones. You can see it actually. Let me show you a side view of it real quick. It has like that little hammer point on it. But yeah. So that's actually all that's in the files right now, guys. That's all I can show you. But, of course, there's going to be a lot more skins. I'm really excited for some of the Bloodhound Legendary skins that are going to be coming out with this event because they look amazing. Here's one of them, actually, that Respawn's already shown us. And if you are interested in hanging out with me, I'll be on Twitch later today, twitch.tv slash iloopgames. And I know this isolation has really affected some people, so if you are suffering in this isolation, please join us in Discord. We have a Discord that's almost at 3,000 people, all Apex fans, super friendly. You can find people to play with. You can just hang out in general. And it's also a great place to be informed on when I tweet, when I go live, and do all that stuff. So please join up, hang out, and I will catch you all later. I hope you enjoyed. Take care, everyone. To this floor with me. Come up here with me. You're gonna die on your own. Get up here. Get up here with me. Yes. Virus. Yes. Virus! Fuck, dude. Watch the stairs. Watch the stairs. Fuck, man. Things.